Right, hello, I'm Sophie, and I'm here to introduce you to Colonial Caribbean. So this is a resource that's across three modules, which covers the official British government documents from 1624 to 1870. Uh, so this will be split from 2021 all the way through to 2023. So our modules are, we've got module one, settlement, slavery and empire, and then colonial government and abolition, and economic change and indentured labour. So this covers 25 islands in the Caribbean. These stretch from Jamaica and the Bahamas to St. Lucia and Barbados. And it presents an opportunity for the academic field to study slavery from prominence to abolition in the wider context of British colonial rule in the West Indies. So this presents um, all the, generally the resource details, the regular running of trade and shipping to island council meetings, various legislation and bills, prison records, building plans, all amongst the fierce rivalries that were going on with the Spanish, Danish and French powers in the Caribbean region. We also have some key themes that I'll just take you through now. So this includes absentee landlords and estate ownership, crime and punishment, finance and economy, trade and shipping, law and governance, mutiny and piracy, plantation governance, maintenance and labour, religion, slavery, abolition and emancipation, uprising and revolts and war in the military. You'll be able to study the overall administrative running of the Caribbean islands that were part of the British Empire. So there were also some foreign language documents in Spanish, French and Dutch, which will show how certain islands such as Guadeloupe fell in and out of the hands of the different powers over the earlier period, which we look at in module one. So this digital initiative will allow users to explore and research the economic and social conditions across the islands and understand how they were managed across a turbulent period of change in a subject area where significant digital resources are really in demand from scholars. So we have some interesting visual examples of this that you can see here. So this includes a map with references to economic value of land, a hospital built specifically for enslaved peoples. There's a letter here regarding the Kingdom of Haiti, which is signed by William Wilberforce, as well as petitions for and against slavery. So these are from the enslaved themselves to the plantation owners. Material in the resources scanned from bound volumes, which contain a treasure trove of documents, such as correspondence, census data and statistics, draft bills, land board papers, legislative acts, maps and plans, medical and military reports, minutes of meetings, there's some newspaper clippings, ordinance, petitions and proclamations. Now the resources narrative stems from the perspective of white British colonizers as these are administrative gov government documents. Now you can find some hidden narratives of those who were enslaved within these documents. However, it is important to note that these are still viewed through the white gaze. It still presents academics and students with an opportunity to study the multitude of angles throughout the rise and decline of the slave trade. So I'm now going to take you through a document for Barbados. So this is CO 2867, which describes the mutiny on board the boat Friendship in August 1801. So it describes initially the reaction of the boats when a crew member when they were shaken awake and told that people on deck were killing each other with muskets. As the boatswain went to investigate, he discovered the first and third mates being held hostage in the cabin by four men with pistols. The crew member subsequently runs up to the deck after one of the men threatens to blow his brains out and sees that the boat continues to sail towards shore while there are attempts with an axe to cut the anchor's chain. The tale continues with the first and third mates being sent back to land on the pinnace with the first mate suggesting to the boatswain that he secretly try and get other crew members to side with him and take the ship back. The second mate is then shot and thrown overboard, confirmed later by the surgeon who drunkenly threatens to burn the ship down. It would appear the crew members committed the mutiny and then left the ship together and were not seen by those interviewed on the event. There is also an ongoing narrative of how the true destination of the trip seems to be unknown to the majority of the crew, only known by the first examinant and the boatswain. So it contains numerous accounts of the event and how these incidents were reported back to the administrative bodies back on land. So this provides a glimpse into how business of governance was conducted. The account is exceptionally detailed and the language much more long winded than perhaps you'd find in a modern account today. It's also worth noting here how black crew members were referred to by their race while white crew members were referred to by their position on board. Now, this is part of our wider trade and shipping theme, which follows numerous cargoes such as coffee, sugar, bread and fish. And you can see some examples provided here are from British Honduras. Now, trade and shipping is a particularly important theme. And this is because 
As many of the themes are connected through shipping, this is due to the financial benefits Britain gained from its Caribbean exports and the slave trade, which can be studied across this resource. It provides statistics and data from the period relating to financial information, which students can use to study in more depth. Now, this document above is actually going to be super accessible to students and researchers in that not only will it be fully HTR, so this is handwriting technology recognition, we now have the ability to generate HTR transcripts. Now, Colonial Caribbean is a majority manuscript material and many governors have beautiful but slightly illegible handwriting, which makes these documents quite difficult normally for students to interrogate fully. I mean, it took me quite a long time myself to fully grasp the friendships gruesome story that I've told you. Now, HTR and our new Cortex HTR transcripts tool will generate a transcript of text on each image. These transcripts can be searched from site level, increasing the searchability of this large manuscript collection. And on that final note, I will now pass you on to our section on Cortex.